player so excited making his NBA Today debut, the Summer League MVP Rockets rookie Cam Whitmore. First of all, Cam, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on the MVP award. Thank you for having me. Of course. Glad to be here. Uh, we are glad to have you. Very excited. So let's just start there with the MVP. Coming into Summer League, what were your goals? Was that one of them? Not really. I mean, uh, definitely was, just, you know, to win a championship. Yeah. And, uh, you know, get comfortable on the NBA floor, a new competition level. So I uh, just wanted to get comfortable with my, my new teammates and just, you know, be out there. We certainly got to see some flashes of that. Some of the, the Rockets' second-year players coming back, playing in Summer League. But let's talk a little bit about the draft because you were widely projected to be a top-10 pick. We just saw you ended up being selected 20th overall to the Rockets. What were you feeling in that moment? And then how did that fuel you now? Well, uh, during that moment, um, I was hoping to be a lottery pick, hoping to be a top pick. But uh, at the end of the day, God always has a plan. Um, and, then, you know, I just let that uh, fuel me, had that you know, motivation uh, on me. And have that chip on my shoulder uh, every, every time I step on the floor. So, uh, I mean, it's... I use that as motivation and just allowed um, to showcase my talents at Summer League. Yeah, and we got to see a lot of it. And I mean, at the end of the day, you're human. To feel all of those things is completely normal, completely natural. Um, but okay. now you're in the NBA. All of that is behind you. I've already heard you say you want to win Rookie of the Year. Is there someone who you think is your biggest competition? Why do you think that's so realistic for you? I would just say my biggest competition, just, you know, probably the all-star that's in the league today. But uh I definitely say a goal, an individual goal of mine is to definitely win rookie of the year. I definitely uh, have that coming. I definitely can uh, probably, you know, make a jump to win that. Hmm. Why do you feel so confident that you have the skill set to be able to do that? Not just the skill set. I just think I have the confidence overall. Mm. I think I have the biggest skill set uh, in the draft right now. And I think I'm just the most different type of athlete, uh, explosive type of athlete nobody has seen in the draft before. So I think I can have an opportunity to uh, be up there. Your head coach with the Houston Rockets, first year with the Rockets is Ima Udoka. Obviously, he led the Boston Celtics to the finals. What do you think is the biggest lesson that you've learned from him? What have you seen from him that has helped you the most thus far? I would say uh, every time, you know, the advice he just gives me every time I step on the floor, just, you know, play my game, be myself, and just, you know, let the uh, game come to me itself. But um, I think uh, he can definitely help me in many ways. Um, he's a great coach. I mean, he definitely showed that at, when he was at the Celtics. So I think um, it will be a great learning experience just to learn from him and uh, be under his wing. You got a chance to play with some of your current Rockets teammates, Jabar Jabari Smith Jr. being one of them, Tari Eason being another. What did they showcase to you? What do you think of them as players and how you all are going to fit together? I mean, they took me right under their wing also, just um, learning, learning like where I'm at on the floor, yeah. making me get comfortable uh, with the new team, new coaches. And, you know, they encourage me every day. They know... Uh, I'm capable of, they know my potential, and they always just push me at the end of the day. What does the rest of your summer look like now that summer league's behind you and you're about to make that transition yeah. into being a rookie in the NBA? Well, first I had to come back home to Maryland, so uh, I'm here now. I had to you know, see my parents a couple more times, see friends and family, uh, first and foremost, so that after that, um, get right back to the grind. So, um, yeah, just working out um, for this training camp. It's coming up. Well, when you get back to the grind, you're getting back to the grind in Houston. Whenever we talk about Houston on this show, we need to bring in our Houston resident, Kendrick Perkins. I know he has a couple of questions for you. Uh, there we go. One, one. <laughs> Look, all, listen, as soon as you get down to the H-Town, turkey leg hood, <laughs> trill burger is on you, okay? I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for the invitation. That's first thing first. Yeah, Second thing, man, my congratulations. All right, well, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on winning the MVP of the Summer League. Don't take that for granted. That's a big accomplishment. But here's the thing I want to I want to ask you. All right, in the Summer League, obviously you had the ball in your hand a lot more. You were able to do your thing. Going into training camp, right, now all of a sudden you have, you know, uh, Eason and you have, you know, Fred Van Fleet and, and, and Kevin Porter Jr. and, you know, uh, all these young guys that – already, uh, you know, kind of established themselves in the first year. Now, all of a sudden, you coming in as a rookie. I need to know what is your mindset and your role coming into training camp to convince Ime Yudoka that you, one, should be getting quality minutes, and two, he should be a guy that you should trust. I mean, just me overall, just my game, like whatever the coach wants me to do. I'll do it. I mean, if he wants to play the five, guard the big man, I'll do it. Guard the guard, point guard, I'll do it. Once we bring the ball up, once we play off ball, three and D wing, I'll do it. So, um, I mean, just, you know, playing off with him, Ime, 
just um, him being a good coach and knows what he's actually uh, doing, has that coaching uh, competitive spirit um, in him, I think it would be a great fit. But uh, I'll say anything that would just impact the team in a way possible. I mean, we already got a lot of guys um, just, you know, that simplify themselves, like as stars in the league. And also we have a championship veteran there uh, with Fred Van Vliet. So, I mean, I think it would be a great fit. But uh, overall, just me being there and back the team in many ways possible. Well, on this show, when I when I drop balls and give a little knowledge, we call it perkism. But I want to give you a little advice heading into training camp, as a as a vet, right? Now look at me as a vet, not as a TV personality, okay? If I were you, the first thing I would do before training camp is actually walk into Ime Udoka office and ask him, "Hey, coach, what is what you what you expect my role to be? What you expect out of me?" And that's what you need to capitalize on. Oh, well, I got you. I mean, we both have that great, great relationship with each other. So, I mean, that's what worked out in that. Yeah, I mean, a, a great head coach who's led a team to the finals, who certainly is looking to lead this young group in Houston. Cam Whitmore, the Summer League MVP. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us here on NBA Today. We cannot wait to see what you do next in the NBA. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.